Hey there, thanks for joining me for another episode of Blind Buys. It's not really a blind buy, you saw the title, it's a high school rewind. This fragrance I originally purchased back in the 2000s, mid 2000s when I had my first original fragrance collection in high school. And I first came to notice this fragrance, I was working at a paintball field as a referee and the owner's son showed up one day holding the original box. Um, he was making jokes saying it cost like $500 or whatever, played a prank on his dad. It was actually really funny. Um, and I thought it was like the coolest looking trinket or whatever you want to call it um, that I had ever seen in my life. The original bottles I thought were really cool and I really don't actually like the way the new design is but we'll get into that more or perhaps we won't um so without jawing on too much uh, you saw the title we're doing burberry brett and it says for him it used to be back in the day there was no for him or anything about it this is my original bottle it's a 1.3 1.7 uh and you're not gonna be able to read the original batch code or anything like that on the bottom um but this is my original bottle i know it's legitimate i purchased this at macy's in like 2006 or something like that if you check the batch code on check fresh it doesn't even check out but i know it's real um so this is what i wish they still looked like to be honest with you 100 percent um i i have sniffed this since uh digging this out of my massive hoard of trash um so this is not a blind buy this is a high school rewind um and we'll see how the smells compare this is what i think to be sort of woody and powdery almost feminine to be honest with you you kind of have to dress it up or just kind of really have the chutzpah to deal with this kind of fragrance um but i thought it would fit nicely in this kind of uh springy sort of weather that we've got going on it's hitting almost mid 60s consistently we're gonna have a couple cooler days but we're in the 60s slightly cooler in the mornings when my applications are fresh so uh, we're kind of shooting for those early mornings so you're probably telling me shut up by now and i totally agree with you let's just open this fragrance and get to stinking so i am pretty curious as to what this smells like i purchased burberry london and opened that not too long ago, six months or so. Time sure does fly. I'm not 100% sure how long it's been since I opened that fragrance. But that smelled different from what I remembered it smelling. Uh, I never had an original bottle of Burberry London, though, so we can't compare and contrast directly. This I have owned since 2006 or so, and it is half as old as I am, so... This one's coming out the bottom pretty nicely. We'll give you a kind of a seven ace jacket standard kind of guy going on there. And we'll just kind of drop it out the bottom. So that's their new plaid on the bottom. And it's not as bad as I really thought. It's not my favorite. I like the I like the the other the plaid, the more plaid plaid. Um, it degraded the cap. It's not patterned anymore. It's just sort of clear. And if you care, the atomizer is just a couple degrees off. So what actually matters is the juice. And we can't smell it through the atomizer. No leakage or anything like that. There's the batch code if you are too impatient to wait around. I do batch codes when I paid for it, projection longevity, and overall thoughts. I wear things for like a week or so or more, and I give full thoughts on the second half of the video. Scroll through, 
find the running water just a little past that's where all the rest of that starts so without further ado we'll give her the old one two oh two on the skidoo we don't even have to give her a third shot maybe even four um i need to go to therapy and cry about my dad tonight um so maybe i will overstink the therapist um hmm. sort of it's sort of different from what i remember it's sort of different from what this what this smells like um we'll set this to the side uh, aside we'll forget about that because that's not what it is anymore this is what we're dealing with now um right off the bat like yeah not the it does not smell does not smell the same that's it's almost it's almost disappointing to be honest with you it doesn't smell like i remember it smelling it's uh not as woody it doesn't have that same powder on it it smells at first impression smells different things change give it a week give it some body heat give it some different situations it'll smell even different in a week and then put a different fragrance in between it, smell some different stuff, come back to it. It'll smell even different again. But right off the bat, not what I remember it to being. The Fragrantica Cop Out, the Accords, they give us warm, spicy, rose, woody, citrus, fresh, spicy, aromatic, vanilla, floral, musky, and then powdery. I remember this being woody and powdery, not warm, spicy, rosy, citrusy. So, kind of weird here. It's... It's only... It's only vaguely woody in my opinion, off the bat. Um, and it lacks, it lacks the, the, the powdery base to it that I really thought this original had on it. Um, so we're gonna have to wear this and see how it changes, to be honest. Let's see what kind of notes they give us for what they're worth. Um, on the top, we've got ginger, cardamom, bergamot, and green mandarin. In the middle, wild rose, nutmeg, cedar, and spicy notes. And in the base, tonka, because everything's got tonka, gray musk, which is the first time we're seeing gray musk, cedar, oriental woodsy notes, and a little bit of patchouli. Because, you know, everything's got to have a little patchouli, too. Um, so, yeah. Pretty different. And off the bat, slightly disappointing. So, stick around. Watch the second half of the video. Because that's the only way you're going to know what my official thoughts are on this fragrance. So, thanks for sticking with me, you guys. folks i opened this fragrance last wednesday evening it is now thursday evening of the following week i've worn this for a full seven days and it's about time we move on for the reasons you'll see following this fragrance came out in 2004 uh, i discovered it probably around that time 2006 7 you know when it was fairly new I got this bottle back in high school and 
that's what spurned me on to do this one. The perfumer is Antoine Maisondu. We've heard from him um, before. Uh, pretty prolific. He's made a few fragrances that a lot of people know and like. Um, Armani Code Absolute, Absolute Gold, Armani Code Parfum, Armani Code Colonia, the EDP, Profumo. He's made Mont Blanc Explorer, Valentino's Born in Roma, and others. Uh, certainly, many others. Uh, you know, does his work. Perhaps, maybe didn't do such a great job on this formulation. Gonna throw a little shade. Batch code, I've got 2159, which gives us an exact born on date of June 8th, 2022. This batch code here, which I have 0% chance of ever getting to focus on the camera, is 6K204B. And if you look it up on the Check Fresh webpage, which is where I do um, any of my batch codes, it doesn't come up, it doesn't show anything at all, but that's what the batch code is. It's forever old, and that's what it is. Um, so, like I said, maybe Antoine didn't do such a great job on this formulation. Perhaps it's just been bastardized over the years. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Perhaps it was better uh, 10 years ago or whatever. Back when I had it in its original formulation, I thought it was pretty good. But when I was younger, I also wasn't paying much attention. I would just wake up and put on whatever I felt like for the day. I wasn't a reviewer. I never really paid that much attention. Right now, it's a little bit different. Projection, it's only like a three or a four. And four is being generous. It doesn't push off. I just sprayed a test strip just to double confirm it, sitting like right here like right next to me it was barely reaching my nose at all so a four is generous uh it's like kind of like a three it's it's more of a skin scent it's not completely useless you can smell it every once in a while you do get wafts so it's not completely useless but it's not really, it's not, it, it, for sure, it is below average. Um, that being said, um, longevity, uh, you know, I only give it four to five hours. It doesn't last super long. It's kind of like a half day scent. Not really all that, um, all that sticky, um, Really, it's better suited for something like an evening or if you're really only looking to get a morning out of it, if you don't really care about the afternoon, you know, that works out too. Uh, I'm, I'm just noticing I skipped housekeeping. Uh, no point in going back and restarting this. Housekeeping, I got this off of Fragrance Net. I paid $31.79. They list 3.3 ounces on the bottle, and that gives us a $9.63 per ounce price. Now, given that we already talked about projection and longevity, that probably makes a lot of sense now. Uh, it's kind of at $9, less than $10 an ounce. Okay, we, we didn't get scammed. It's not bad. It's just not good. It. I'm I'm pretty sure I paid more for this bottle back in the day than I paid for this bottle in present day. So if it has degraded that far, it is what it is. I'm not going to harp on it too bad. It is a cheap, not so great fragrance. Scent wise, I do really like it. It is, it is a unique fragrance. And up close, it doesn't smell anything like the remnants of this. But I, I like to think that it, in the reformulations, 
it uh it gives a good suggestion of it once what it once was you can't smell it up close but in those few wafts that you get every once in a while uh, it does remind me and it is the same ish smell as the original formulation it's just a lot weaker um it's lacking performance um yeah there's really not much more to say about it at ten dollars an ounce you're not really losing too many ducats on to it but for for what it is i can't really you know i can't really say anything more than like you might want to sample it just to see what it smells like chances are you're never ever going to need a whole bottle I'm just doing my thing. I have a whole bottle. That's just how it goes. Um, you should probably sample everything. There's no reason to spend a shit ton of money and buy things that you're not going to end up liking. But like I said, I'm doing my own, my own project and that's how it goes. Sometimes you end up with things like Burberry, uh, Burberry Brit, Burberry London, where performance generally lacking but the fragrance is unique it smells nice but it just doesn't do work and i guess that's the story of burberry or the story so far we've got burberry brit rhythm which super super rare kind of hard to get I, I don't think i've seen it for sale anywhere else recently i don't even remember where i got it 100%. I think I got it on Fragrance Net and got lucky. But if you want to see that get open and find out what that smells like, I'm also a little curious, but not holding out super, uh, super ton of hope that it's going to be anything um, performance wise, anything spectacular. Scent wise, it should be pretty nice. Um,. As always, let me know if there's any fragrances you want to see me open. Anything behind me, I can do really quick. Or anything that I'd have to order in, we got to talk about. And if it's uh, generally asked for a lot, perhaps I'll do it. Anyways, guys, find something that's as unique as you are. Wear it unabashedly. Till the next time I see you, talk to you, or anything else. Take it easy, you guys. Thanks.